So this thing you are looking at here now, this white thing you see here, like is one of us blacks. This is the the duplex that you see a lot of us lives in your room. You see? Yes. one of the black probably a Nigerian for the society this is duplex yes if I should tell you what is inside there now how it built that very place it was just an ordinary plank understand plank the plank now you have to arrange it and they look for this uh, condemned uh, three-seater chair the one they threw away and brought it and uh, lay it against the wall, arrange the plank on top of it, then look for some kind of uh, the spread to cover it. That is where a man, a full grown man, sleeps in Europe. Yeah, Europe, a full grown man. Not that I don't know the person who is inside there. Yesterday, when I was passing, I saw him when he was arranging that place. When he was preparing the place a black man yeah do place for him in europe and if you tell you now and if he should tell you how long he has been sleeping there you, you won't be you won't believe it this is life for you in europe yes this is just one of the thousands of thousands of them in the morning now he will, he will dress up maybe move to his place of work he's not manned the man is absolutely sound sound yes it's not manned but situation in europe kept him in that state so the reason why we are saying all these things a lot of people might say that oh why are you people saying this? It's Europe. Why are you telling us that Europe is not good? Europe is good. Europe is just like every other place in the world, even in that Africa. Understand? So it's not just everybody that, I, that are in Europe that, that find life easy or life is fair to. Understand? As life is not fair to some people in Africa, so also life is not equally fair to some people in Europe including black and those who want to call themselves whites. Yeah. So you can see some certain things here now that looks like a hot here. This is not the soldier camp. No, this is a uh, human being. The rich people, the rich ones owns this very one here. You understand me? These are the ones that are rich. You understand? I'm still going to show to you the poor ones. The ones that does not have much, the ones that have money, those are the ones that could be able to buy such. Because I couldn't just stand in this video then. This is for a privacy purpose, you understand? For security purpose. So the reason why I just decide to video a little bit so that you should understand the kind of life some of our people are living. Although, it's not all Africans. There are Africans and there are also other nationalities. Okay, look at the other aspects. This is most of these people are blacks. This is where our people sit. You can see them. This is you are seeing. Yeah, there are people's apartments. As you can see. Understand? Look at the other side, we see some of their relaxing and they are coming back to have their places in that very place. So, I believe you are seeing them. Okay, so I am still taking you around. Please, as I said earlier, I just want to show a disclaimer and look at where they gather to eat. Yeah. This is government food. Yeah, majority of them who sleeps outside. At this very time, every evening, 
they do come to share food for them. As you can see, every one of them here, they are homeless. So, for you to know that it's not only Africa that have poor people. In Europe, we have poor people. You may ask me, are all this one Africans? No, they are not all Africans. So, it's all run, all run. As you can see, all run nationalities. All run nationalities. Yes, all run nationalities. Look at the people. I share one of the pictures. You understand me? Yeah. They come here, they take their food. This is the bus that brings their food to them. In one way or the other, for survival. So you can see. All right. Now, they are done in that very place. That is where they take their dinner. They are set for their dinner right now. And this is one of them on the floor. I don't want to be showing their faces. I believe one uh, of such. The family of this one hope that their, their person is a hero. Right? Yeah, this is hero for you. I'm still going to take you down to the other parts. This is just one, of, one part of it. And we have much, much. So I am doing this just to also talk to our people back home. Maybe you don't hear from your person who travel outside the country for a quite number of years. Don't just have it in your mind that the person doesn't want to talk to you or maybe he have found uh, a good life outside and he decided to, to neglect you guys or to just move on without you guys. No. A lot and a lot is going on, which you are not even aware of in this year. Yeah. A lot is quite going on. So that is the reason why I'm here for this case. If you don't hear from the people, I believe the best thing you should do is for you to be praying. Start praying for them. Because you don't really know exactly what he or she might be going through. Because anything can happen in this year. Any issue can just come up. And unforeseen uh, disaster can just happen to anybody in this world. That might make them to keep you away from communication. So don't just jump into conclusion saying that this person, ah, since he traveled to Europe, he has found a better life for himself or herself. Now he forgot us. He doesn't want to talk to us. I believe you can see one of them. Yeah. You can see one of them. Yeah. This is how it is in Europe. <laughs> this is like in Europe for you. Okay. So sorry that I'm not showing their faces quite all right. I will not. You understand me? I'm no I'm not here to show their faces. I'm just here to show you the life people you see. You can see his luggage is on top. Alright? <laughs> that is life for me for Europe. This is Europe for you. And to make it much clearer to you, this is Termini. The that is home, the capital city of Italy. Do you get it? <laughs> okay. I hope you get it right. I hope you get it right. So as you can see, you can see the building. That is the center of Rome. Yeah. All right. So we are still going to the other parts. The other side. So we are doing this for you to please Pray for your people. Understand? As life is, is difficult in Africa, so also is difficult in Europe. There is no place in this world that is 100% free from stress. But the difference is that the stress you are passing through might not be the stress 
that others are passing through. But be rest assured that each and every one of them are passing through one space or the other. This place that we are, just because the police came to drive each and every one of them away, here is the center where a lot of them do sleep. Yeah, as you can see here right now, you can see everywhere is empty, right? Not that it's truly empty like this. The police came to do, drive them away. That is the reason why you are not seeing any one of them here. Here is a reservoir for the homeless. Yeah, as I said before, here is a reservoir for the homeless. Yeah. So it was because police came, drove them away and washed here. So they are afraid to return back for the now. This is the reason why you could not see anybody here present. But it, it's not, it doesn't mean that they are, they are gone forever, just for the temporary moment, okay? Before tomorrow or next, they will probably return back again because they don't have any other place. And not even tomorrow. Yeah, as the day gets darker, they will return. They don't have any other place to go to. They are just out for the night because they just want to obey the police. They are coming back tonight. They are still coming back tonight. All right. Just as you said earlier, they have not come here to mock anybody or to do this to discourage anybody to tell you that Europe is not good. Europe is good. But you rest assured that as a lot of you are passing through one difficulties or the other in Africa, so also the majority of your brothers and sisters who travel down to Europe that you are hoping for one arrow or the other from are still passing through one difficulties or the other. And to, make, and to make matter worse, a lot of them sleep on this uh, uh, condition. They keep themselves on this condition just to make you, you brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers, to be comfortable. Yeah. They made these sacrifices. It's not all of them that don't really have that money to rent an apartment or even just one room. No. The majority of them decided to be in these conditions, sleeping outside, sleeping outside, just to make sure that you, brother or you, sister, fathers or mothers, have shelters over your head. And the hundred or two hundred euros that they would have used to pay for their house rent or gather together to rent an apartment, they rather prefer to send that money down to you in Africa. And the question we are asking you now, then making those sacrifices to make sure that you are comfortable, how are you managing the little things that they are sending back to you? Uh, How are you taking care of them? And at the end, they will make all these sacrifices, sleep under the coal and under the sun to make sure that they save something back home. Maybe you might have told them that you are building one uh, house or the other, having one project for them, and at the end of everything, they returned back home and found nothing. Then you just tell me, how do you think that people like this will feel? After making all these sacrifices, after passing through all this passion, they later found out that all they sacrificed for that made them to sleep under the road pole, under the sun, and at the end, there was nothing accounted. There was nothing that you people could be able to account for. Just tell me, if it were to be you, 
to you. What will you do? How will you feel? How will you feel? This is a question we are asking you. How will you feel? Okay. How will you feel that you make this kind of sacrifice? A lot of them are here. They are going back again. A lot of them are sleeping here. Just to make sure that yes, they send that hundred euro back home. They send that fifty euro back home. They send that two hundred euro back home. You see, these are the rich ones that will be able to afford me to take. They send it back home for your comforts. To make sure that that project is up and running. Only just to come back and see that yes. For what they slept under the coal for, there was nothing to be accounted for. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, this is beauty. They are not mad. Though. They are not the same. They are not the same. You understand me? They are not the same. A lot of them are well okay. You understand me? They are well okay. So the reason why we are saying this is for you to know that time and the little money that they put to you there, make sure that you use it well for them. Use it well for them. Don't waste their money. Don't waste their resources. In the summer, don't waste their resources. Don't waste their resources. You sacrifice a lot. A lot of them could not eat what's really what they really want to eat. They couldn't wear the dresses that they want to wear. All just to make sure that things are in the right places. You see, after making all these sacrifices, how did you pay them back? Huh? How did you pay them back? If they should return back to you tomorrow or next, will you be able to give an account? Yeah, these are their places, place of good food to do. Will you be able to give an account of that little hundred euro or twenty euro they sent to you? This is the question we are asking. Please, they keep on saying. Whatever you feel that will not be done to you, don't do it to another person. It does not bear it. All right. We still keep on bringing updates to you in regards to this life that we found in here. But now we are saying, shout out.